What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I actually got a special guest for you today. I got none other than our head blockchain engineer, Benji. Hey, great and, to see uh, you guys. Yeah, I had to drag his ass down over here. He's a hard person to get a hold of. Anyways, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about Benji's kind of roadmap of how he became a blockchain developer, the current, let's say, ecosystem, what's happening in blockchain space, and exciting things that we're working on in Block Geek. So, Benji, man, when you start, well, you've been coding for a while, but how did you start your path when it came to blockchain coding? Blockchain coding, well, really, I had all these ideas that I wanted to build apps, and these ideas, I tried like getting people to put them together, and I realized, it's much better to actually build your own vision. So when you know what you want to build, actually to figure out how to go out and build that. So I started picking up HTML, CSS, some really basic first programming languages. And then I really got dove deep into JavaScript and learning Solidity after that because the two are very similar. And then I started building my own dApps, so decentralized applications based off, like with the languages I knew then and kept expanding from there. So whether it was an online tutorial mm. about how to build a dApp, or whether it was just me hacking away one late Friday night to build the application. That's how I really started getting into it and picking up new languages from there. And so what was one of your biggest roadblocks when learning these languages? Oh man, <laughs> yeah, there is, there is quite a few roadblocks out there, whether it's like an outdated tutorial you spend like six hours on, like trying to figure out why is this not working? Uh, mm. But I think probably the biggest roadblock I would say is like, you need quality content to learn from, and once you have that, that's a really good foundation to start learning because it's really putting the pieces of a puzzle together. So like learning this bit of this language, oh, I can use this in this application over here. And really when you get those pieces of the puzzle like starting to like mesh, that's when you really see your apps come together. So finding quality content to learn from. Was there any kind of like exponential learning curve you had to do differently than let's say learning JavaScript or Python or Go? Um, really it was, I would say there's not too, it's very similar to learning some other languages with the exception that there's not a lot of excellent information on tutorials, like with tutorials or anything else about building your own decentralized application. Yeah. So there is a learning curve in the sense that you are in the wild west, you are like groundbreaking. Like when you build something, there's a chance that it's never been built before on the blockchain. So. Um, you have to be prepared to get your hands dirty and really dig into the code and learn exactly what everything does. Is there any examples you like in the space that kind of excites you? Examples? Um, I was really into like sort of the crypto gaming aspect. Yeah. So I really think that Ethereum, when it becomes much more scalable, that's going to be extremely exciting because they'll be able to take that into online games into a much more like a very larger degree than like say crypto kitties mm. we'll be able to have microtransactions you can actually have like items in the game all like ERC 721 tokens so that they're all unique and then you could have secondary markets for those or anything it's uh, really exciting with I think the next big like development would be with ethereum and scalability so besides ethereum any other projects you think that any other projects? Yeah. Well, it'd be interesting to see Neo how um, they evolve. I know they're really big in China right now, but expanding beyond China, because I know their smart contract language is pretty robust, Yeah. and seeing really what competition that is to Ethereum and Solidity. I'm excited to see Cosmos. Cosmos, that'll be interesting too, yeah. Yeah. That's gonna be good. All the, all the <laughs> scaling solution and protocol layer, I'm very excited for them to compete against each other, and uh, more competition, the better in, in, in any ecosystem. Yeah, definitely seeing who can do it the best. Yeah, yeah. And so like what advice would you have for new upcoming developers who want to enter the space? New and upcoming developers, um, there's going to be a bunch of roadblocks, but don't stop. Like really have that idea like I want to build this and be determined because when you actually do get that built and you succeed, even just building a small section of it, it's a fantastic feeling. So I would say don't like stay determined and find quality content that you can learn from because that's really key to your like educational path and really becoming a quite a skilled developer. And don't get trapped into the ICOs. <laughs> yeah. Oh my fucking God. Fake man. ICOs and real ICOs. Oh, <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> crazy, man. It's a wild, wild west of the most dumbest and stupidest ideas I've ever seen. Seriously. Not I to mention the technology doesn't even exist. It doesn't. And yeah. like you're just buying a token that doesn't represent anything. Uh, like last week I made 87 billion Benji tokens. Just for fun. Who needs to work when you can just make Benji tokens? Yeah. <laughs> Hit me up. My ICO is coming out next week. <laughs> 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 
And so uh, why don't we kind of inform everybody on some cool stuff that we're working for Block Geeks. Yeah, we have some really cool projects coming out. Yeah. Um, which one do you want to go into? Questions, bounties? Both questions and bounties, yeah. Okay, so we have a Q&A that's live now for Block Geeks. And pretty much what it is is, say you have a really difficult question that you can't, you haven't found an answer for, you can actually post it on the Block Geeks website and attach some Ethereum or soon to be any ERC20 token and then soon, soon to be any token at all yep. to pay for it. So say I know the answer to this really complicated question or even just a, comp a question that there's not a good enough answer out there for it. I can come in and answer that and you can award me the bounty and that that's motivating more people to answer questions. That's one exciting project. But also we have bounty1.io, which is going to be coming out very soon. And what that is, is it's a bounty network where people can post new questions or new projects that they want you to work on or build them an app or solve a bug that they have. Pretty much anything related to blockchain apps and then you would actually win the bounty. So you could have multiple developers working on that mm. bounty and all to earn however much Ethereum or whatever token that's staked for it. Yeah, I'm excited about it. You know, right now at Blockings, we have roughly about 30,000 plus students in our pipeline yeah. and like half of them are looking to fulfill all these projects. They're like itching to work on projects. <laughs> so I can't wait till like Bounty One comes out where we can actually match them up with companies and need projects done. Yeah, for sure. And then we'll have some like really solid developers can show the companies this is the work they've done. Yeah. They're really good and yeah. get them some blockchain jobs. Yeah. So it's super exciting times. Uh, like any other coding language, it takes time. It's one thing to read documentation. It's another thing to actually practice and build things. Yeah. Sure. Same thing, like I give the analogy, you can read all the books in your life about riding a motorcycle until you get on a fucking motorcycle. <laughs> and you realize, well, fuck, it's not that easy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but at the same time, you'll never know the exhilaration of driving a motorcycle yeah. until you actually do. If you're looking to become a blockchain developer, go check out Block Geeks. Uh, there will be a link below this video. If you're looking to earn some ether by answering developer questions, Check out Block Geeks as well. That's questions.blockgeeks. There's also a link below this video. And if you guys have any questions regarding becoming a blockchain developer or the blockchain ecosystem, just leave a comment below this video, guys. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.